Hello friends, breaking news. I wanna to talk to you today about the tropa laylapse mite incident that happened. And uh, a lot of scuttlebutt's been going around about this mite. It's tropa laylapse is a mite that we've been concerned about for a long time about coming into the US. And uh, there's a lot of fear right now that it might already be in the US or that it almost made it into the US. Um, just recently. So I want to kind of tell you what I know about that. Uh, I think there's a little bit of information here that might be uh, help you clarify what you've been hearing, okay? So I just received this document from the state of New Jersey, Department of Agriculture. This document was produced on the 23rd, which was yesterday. And it says, New Jersey Department of Agriculture collaborates with the United States Department of Agriculture to mitigate honeybee risk from ship container. Now, I'll leave a, a copy where you can kind of read it here up close maybe, but it says here that the New Jersey Department of Ag, in partnership with the United States Department of Agriculture, helped to successfully mitigate the risk of parasitic honeybee mites arriving at the port of Newark, New Jersey in a swarm of bees on, a, on board a ship container. And I wanted to let you know um, the details of that. There's a lot more information in this uh, uh, brief, but it says here, while the ship, while the container ship was 3,600 miles off the coast of the United States, the swarm of bees were removed and safeguarded in a freezer while on board the vessel. No brood or comb was present. The container ship provided a report including pictures to confirm this. The removal, uh, containment, and freezing of the bees prevented new insects from escaping into the environment. Remember, it was 3,600 miles off the shore of the US. Some uh, earlier reports, people were saying 25 miles out, but this was over uh, 3,600 miles away. Uh, the collected bees were sent to USDA APHIS National Identification Services for identifi official identification. And get this, the swarm of bees was confirmed to be APHIS dorsata. Apis dorsata is the um, giant honeybee. It's, it's very large. Mostly they nest outside in the open, uh, hanging on to tree branches and such. Um, two types of mite, mites were found. And the one that we're concerned about, of course, is yes, they did find triple laylaps, uh, Mercedes on that one. And uh, the action was taken by the container ship. Uh, we're in compliance with USDA regulation. So that is what we know uh, directly from the Department of Agriculture in there in New Jersey. Um, again, I think that makes all of us feel a little bit better. I was worried when I first heard it was 25 miles offshore because that's pretty darn close. But then when I got this information and it clarified, it was still a long way off. It is fearful that it was headed this way. It was headed to a U.S. port. Now, I know all of us wonder about when is this new mite, uh, it, when it's going to break and when it's going to make it into the U.S. And is the U.S. ready for it? Are there actions put into place to mitigate it from coming to shore, which obviously there is. This worked. It's, this is how it's supposed to work, people. And it worked. And now, does, is this going to work every time? We don't know. And that's where the fear factor kind of rises up and all of the beekeepers were worried about this possibly happening and not being detected. And that's why, why we're all kind of on high alert. Um, this mite is kind of spreading in much the same way that the viral destructor spread throughout the world. And it's following that same kind of pattern. So it does seem like it could be inevitable uh, to make it here in the U.S. Now, the best source I see right now is Project uh, APSM, and you can go to their website, click download to get this document. I'll leave a link in the description, but you can see here there is a great document uh, that will really help you understand more about this uh, triple elapse mite uh, here from Project uh, APSM. Now, you see it says 
what are triple ops might good descriptions there the geographic range of it where it is right now how it's spreading this is a little bit probably behind but uh, it says 2024 and it gives you great images so some of you are wondering about what does it look like i want to know if i have it do i see it in my hives you can see one here that's an eye on the right side and you can see uh the mite on the pupae uh, towards its back side. And here you can see how to identify it, what it looks like, how it compares. If you look on the bottom board, you can kind of just, you need to get this document. And look, here are methods to do testing on it, to detect it. The bump method, sticky board, examining cells, powdered sugar, soapy water, alcohol. And then what do you do if you suspect trophy on your bees or something you know what do you do again learning what it looks like how to identify it this is huge for beekeepers and uh, you also need to know potential control methods and it says here uh, if you read through it get this yourself and read through it but many of the treatments that we use now seem to be uh, what we're going to use to treat tropile uh, laps if it comes into uh, our country. It says here that thus far research has shown formic acid and brood breaks to be the most promising treatment against triple A So get this document, take a look at all the pictures, study it. You need to be prepared. I know that a lot of us were concerned last week when uh, about this ship that had it on it coming to the U.S. So this is a good source of information for you. Now, some people on my live stream last night ask a lot of questions about this mite. It is different than the Viral Destructor. It acts different. It's a quarter of the size of it. It runs around on the outside of the comb. There's different ways to test. Are there treatment effective methods of treatment for it? And, you know, scientists are working, I would say around the clock um, in places where it's at right now, trying to, even our scientists from the U.S. have been working to uh, overseas to work, to learn about it, to to figure out a way we can deal with it if and when it gets into the U.S. But a lot of people are asking me questions. David, do you think it's already here in the States, in the U.S.? And, you know, I I would hope not. But I would say it's a very likely possibility. I'm not saying that it is. It has not been officially declared as being here in the U.S., as far as I know, as of publishing the date of this video. It's not in the U.S. as we know. We've been testing for it. A lot of government agencies have been testing highs for it regularly and thoroughly, and we have not detected it. Now, could it still be here and just gone undetected so far? You know, it's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. Never say never. But our fingers are crossed that it's not here yet, and we're doing things like this to keep it from getting here. And so that's the, I just wanted to come on here and give you the most recent news public uh, right out of uh, the state of New Jersey uh, from the governor's office there, Department of Ag, to kind of clarify what people are saying and fearing about this, uh, almost making it here uh, to the U.S. And uh, so we can wipe our brow on this one, and hopefully we are going to trust that these agencies are going to keep doing a great job. Hats off to them for a wonderful job that they did in handling this properly. And hopefully going forward, this will be the case every time and we can keep it from coming into the U.S. Now, that's what I know from this point on. I would say to encourage all of you that are worried about it, um, I, was, I was really shaken when mites, the viral mite, first came into the U.S., and we all thought that was the end of bees, and it hasn't been. We've learned how to deal with that. I think we're all going to be very resilient beekeepers, and no matter what, if triple A laps does make it into the U.S., I think we're all going to be very sharp, and we're going to figure out ways to deal with it and keep keeping bees. It will just be one more thing to battle, <laughs> unfortunately, as if we don't have enough already. So that's the update today. Thank you guys for watching. Now, if you want to see another video of my live stream where I talk about feeding bees in the fall, which a lot of these questions kind of came on board uh, last night during the live stream, watch the live stream right over here. See you guys over there.